Do you want to farm for Stellar Jades in Honkai Star Rail fast? Here are the easiest to hardest Stellar Jades to get in version 2.5. Keep watching for the grand total. It's David Wowie. How are you going? Let's get to it. The easiest Stellar Jades you can get are simply by logging in. Go to your travel log and you'll have the generous gift of comment giving you a whopping 1000 Stellar Jades. Check your mailbox to get 600 more Stellar Jades as maintenance compensation for this update. There should be a number of redeem codes throughout this campaign which can be around 300 Stellar Jades. Use this code GACLCL3JEN and put the redeem code in the link I've put in the description of this video. Join my free discord for redeem code updates. Go to your event travel log and look for gifts of Odyssey. Log in every day to get a total of 10 special tickets, which is equal to 1600 Stellar Jades. As per my previous video, just by logging into Hoyo Lab every day, you can get up to 80 Stellar Jades plus a bunch of other free stuff. Download the app to make this easier. The Embers Exchange shop can give you up to 5 special passes and 5 normal passes during this update, which is worth 1600 Stellar Jades. Bro, you now have thousands of Stellar Jades without even needing to play the game yet. But there are stacks more. Like and subscribe to stay in the loop or become a super member to support this small but growing channel and get some perks. On top of this, we're getting random web and social media events that will promise Stellar Jades. Based on history, these could reach well more than 180 Stellar Jades. Character trial events for the banner characters Face Yao, Robin, Black Swan, and Kafka can give you 80 Stellar Jades. Then there's the daily training. Since you can get 60 Stellar Jades per day with this, you should get a total total of 2580 stellar jades over 43 days one of these things is super easy just log in daily and the guide will give you 10 stellar jades per day the nameless honor battle pass can give you up to five normal passes via nameless gifts which is worth 80 stellar jades and if you pay a bit of money for the nameless glory you get four special passes valued at 640 stellar jades topped off with an extra 680 of them. Now for the slightly harder and more time consuming Stellar Jays to get, there are two new events. Luminary War Dance Ceremony, which will give us 1930 Jades. Festive Revelry will give us 620 Stellar Jades. Version 2.5 of Honkai Star Rail will give us a new sub area complete with treasure chests and puzzles. This should give us 500 Stellar Jades. And we have the main Trailblaze mission quest combined with the side missions, which should give us around 600 Stellar Jades. There are 43 new achievements, which could give us 245 Jades, depending on who you ask. For Simulator Universe, you have the potential to get around 225 Stellar Jades and one Star Rail Pass weekly if your equilibrium level is 6. This campaign runs for about 6 weeks, so we can expect 1350 Stellar Jades and 6 Star Rail Passes, which are valued at 960 Stellar Jades. Add those together and we get 2310 big juicy ones, baby. Divergent Universe got a new update and we can expect 500 Stellar Jades by clearing it. Apocalyptic Shadow pure fiction and memory of chaos all get resets and all provide 800 stellar jades each if you clear all with three stars we'll get a combined 2400 stellar jades baby so if we combine all the free stellar jades i mentioned we'll get approximately 19,000 free stellar jades and if you're wondering why there are so many, in this table I converted each pass into 160 Stellar Jades, as that's what each pass is worth. This gives us about 12 free 10 pulls, giving you at least one guaranteed 50-50 on a featured banner. If you want to learn more about Honkai Star Rail's pity system, make sure to check out my pity system vid that I've linked in this video. Of course, these are just approximate numbers, but can still be used as a guide on where to get Stellar Jades. Like and subscribe for more!